and welcome to Grandad Reviews. Today is the start of my two minute tips and tricks <coughs> from the Fuji X-T3. Today we're going to have a look at auto white balance and specifically the auto white balance lock feature on the X-T3. If you're doing stills and shooting in RAW you're not too worried about white balance that much. Uh, but when you're doing video, uh, you have to be a bit more critical. So you usually do one of a number of things. So you just stick it on auto white balance or hope for the best. Or you may pick one of the uh, presets like daylight. You also might do a custom white balance. And in which case you would use either a grey card, white card. Or you, you may put one of these colour charts at the beginning of your shot next to the talent or whatever but if you leave it in auto there is another setting so let's say you line the shot up you're quite happy with the color balance on the screen you quite like it you might then set up a custom button i'll go down this one when you press that it'll lock the white balance right to set that uh, function up on the camera itself you need to go into the settings button and dial settings auto white balance lock mode uh, i recommend you put it on on off switch just makes it a bit easier to use and right now if you just hold the back display button down you'll bring up the uh, custom function buttons pick the function button you actually want it to be on and then pick auto white balance lock only and that so when you're happy with the white balance on the screen or how you've set the lighting up you can just press your function button and your auto white balance is locked and press it again to unlock it so that's the look at the auto white balance lock feature on the xt3 so until the next two minute tips and tricks see you later